Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Ohina Bajwan. Thank you so much for your love, your support. I appreciate it so much and I mean it. So guys, um coming to you with this vlog, um just documenting a bit of my life in quarantine. Um it's been it's been almost a month now that um we're in quarantine. I live in Italy, specifically Como, which is next to Switzerland. And it's been a lot so far also because it's just it's just been a matter of a few weeks and everything just changed from that to that so yeah it's been a lot to take in but we're we're good we're good by god's grace we're fine so guys i don't want to this is just the intro so i don't want to make it too long i just wanted to give just a bit of information so as i was saying it's been a couple of weeks now but the lockdown itself started about a week ago or a little more than a week. So currently speaking, um the confirmed cases in Italy are forty two thousand and twenty one, reported deaths four thousand and thirty two and recovered um individuals are a thousand and forty five. This is quite alarming. Nobody was expecting this, especially um the re the reported deaths. Um so it's a lot right now. But hope let's hope everything you know ends very soon schools have been closed for about three weeks now but i know there are lots of online lessons going on teachers are in constant um interaction with um the students so exercises are being sent home through whatsapp and all homeworks are being sent to the younger ones and all that so they're still moving but um some i heard that the school year or the academic year might be prolonged but they haven't confirmed this. Let's see how it goes. But they're prepared to even do the high school final year exams online. I think that that is a lot. That is a lot. But I hope it favors all the students, actually. And I, But I just hope all this ends soon so that nobody has to stress, you know. Because this is a lot on the government as well. Um, In the decree they also established a fine of 200 euros and or three months imprisonment and i think that is fair i mean to deter people from you know going and loitering around and and, and meeting up and all that i think it makes sense also on i don't remember the dates but on um last week monday i know that some new laws were implemented where incentives would be given to some businesses and some individuals like for example the workers at home there are so many workers at home right now and they will need to be they need to be paid so i think the government is also doing an amazing job on that like trying to make very drastic and fast decisions i know it's not easy it's not easy it cannot be easy so yeah kudos to them there's a lot of pressure on the health system right now. Italy has a very good health system, I have to say. They're really good. But it's a lot on them right now because they weren't expecting this amount of people being infected on a daily basis. And that's the problem. About two days ago, um, there were about 400 and something people who had the virus. And I think this is a lot on the health system. So it's our duty as citizens to do our best. They say stay home, you stay home. They say do not meet up at gatherings, do little parties, you do so. I mean, it's just, it's not only for the government, but also to help ourselves as individuals. I mean, just this is just my opinion, so it makes sense. Um, also, the atmosphere here is really quiet, very quiet. If you know Italians, they like to mingle, they like to sit outside, they like going to their bars, they don't play with their bars at all cappuccino in the morning and all that they like to hug each other kisses and all that and they've been restricted and it's a lot but i mean we are managing here there's also the hashtag yo resto a casa which is hashtag i stay at home so it's just you know showing togetherness we're in this together and people are making some funny videos and all that um so yeah it's not that bad we're managing here. Um, I know, as of now, um, a lot of countries are, you know, 
locking down as well and and taking such drastic measures and i know it's for the good of the citizens so i pray everyone just obeys the rules and stays home um i know last week uh, an african church here was given a fine of three thousand because they actually went to church and the police didn't stop there no 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 they actually gave every individual also a fine of 200 euros I feel sorry for them, but at the same time, I understand. Laws are meant to be respected. The government, the authorities have to be respected. So I totally understand that. Okay, guys, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to end here. I want you to stay safe. Sanitize your hands frequently. Wash your hands frequently. Do not go to conferences and things like that. Please, guys, be safe. Be safe. Stay safe. And just enjoy in the comfort of your home, find something doing, do your hair like me, try to do something, <laughs> and I don't know, I'm sure it's spring, right, spring cleaning, do something, I'm sure there's so much to do, the universe is also taking this opportunity to, to press the restart button, as I saw on Instagram, to clean itself, so everybody will just get to the end of this um, this is a war. We we'll all get to the end of this war refreshed, energized, and ready. I I just pray all this and soon and I pray God comforts the families of those who have lost um their relatives, really. Guys, I'm out. Take care, enjoy the vlog. Bye. Hi guys, so as I was saying, um we are in the red zone um, it's been this zone has been locked up for like this is the second day or so and we basically stay at home the whole day um, no school no work for me as well because I work in the school sometimes and yeah most little activities have been stopped um, we can go to so the, the main place we go to now is the supermarket and well I don't have um, you just have to wear gloves basically i wear gloves to go to the supermarket you have to cover your nose if you have a mask i usually don't cover my nose because i don't have a mask now because i barely go out the supermarket is just two minutes a two three minutes walk from my home so the most the most important thing is that i make sure i wear gloves or something for my hands and i use hand sanitizers constantly constantly yeah, but most of the time I stay home and like I go out every three days or something. So that's what it's about. I just want to document this whole thing, you know, for future purposes. I just and I, and also to share with others um, who are not around. But yeah, it's quite serious. I think um, this issue might have been underestimated from the beginning, and now it has gotten out of hands. Um, I know there's so much pressure right now on there health care sector and um, yeah there's a lot of pressure right now because there are a lot of um cases being reported every single day so it makes it worse yeah so to summarize we're home nothing really is going on some people go to work though and right now you can be stopped and when you're stopped you have to have a good reason why you're out so i might venture venture outside once in a car though because I've stopped taking using the public transport to be on the safer side. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah guys, see you later. I'll be coming back to show you I don't know, to talk about something else. Bye. Today I will be going to do I'm at home as usual, but then I may be going to the supermarket to get some things. Um yeah, so then I might take the phone with me and film a little, if possible. Yeah, just to show, you know, how it is outside. So, yeah. See, it's been about four days of... It's been about four days or five days since the lockdown. And, well, we're here. We don't go out much, as I said in another video. If you step outside, there are a lot of police um, patrolling, so they would ask you um, where you're going to and all that. So, yeah. We're home. I'll just catch you later.
Bye. I'm just gonna wash and you know shower and then we see. Ciao. Hi guys, so for the first time I'm out, that's my mother anyway, and this is my area, the only thing opened now are pharmacies, supermarkets, and hey, I'm wearing gloves, so I couldn't find anything else to wear, because I'm going to shop, so I don't want to come into contact, because we have to open doors, oh my gosh, I put my hand on my nose, God help us, anyway, so yeah, town is very quiet, I have to say. But we have to go to the supermarket anyway. So I'll catch you there. And I'll show you a bit of, you know, my little town. Not, it's, is it a little town? Well, it's quite little, but not too little. So you see how quiet it is. This is a, today is what, um, Friday. So it's supposed to be really busy, but it's not. So yeah. I look so puffy. Been resting a lot, I should say. Oh. It's quite quiet. FYI, it's so hot. I mean, for your information, it's so hot. It's 18 degrees. It's a beautiful weather. And on, and on a normal day, yeah, everybody would be outside. Very busy roads. My mom is being an African mom. Which is very cool. Hashtag a mother that prays. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the supermarket. It's really quiet. You can't believe it. There's a queue to go into the supermarket. And I know this already because my colleagues in Milan have told me. So everybody has to, to stand one meter away from the person in front. So this is the long queue. I don't know if you can see it. So guys, I can't believe it. I'm basically the last person in this very long queue. One meter away from the person in front of you. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this has to stop very soon because we can't, we seriously cannot continue like this. We are called one at a time. There's a security man standing there and he makes them go like two at a time or one at a time, I don't even know. All the beauty shops are closed. So they make sure one person enters and goes way ahead, then the next person enters. So I just got back from the supermarket. It was okay, but um, <laughs> it's just really stressful. We had to queue for I don't know what 20 minutes. I had to queue for about 20 minutes to get in because everybody has to stand one meter away from the person in front. So, and then when we get to the gate, the security man makes us go inside a few people at a time. So maybe like three people then we wait for a while when he sees that they've gone a bit further and he releases other to him he, he tells you to go so and it's scary you know I, I was really thinking about it because what if someone has a virus touches something a product and puts it down you pick it up even if you're wearing gloves because I was wearing gloves like even if you you've protected your hands whatever you have your gloves on you pick the thing, you take it home, and you put it down, you remove the gloves, and then and then you, you use your hand again. <laughs> Guys, 
it's only God <laughs> God is the only one that can save us from all this because it's it's up it's it's ridiculous it's just mind-blowing and I guess it's our um, duty to do what we can as citizens you know to protect ourselves because all is just a big cost for the state right but it's a lot it's a lot I just prayed this whole thing ends very soon um I don't know I think I'll be going out again because I want to get other stuff from another place I'm not sure but if I go out I would definitely make another video or vlog so I can add all together because I'm trying to document this whole thing this is something that is so I don't know I just can't I just want to document it you know for future reference I don't know I just want to document it and also to just show others what exactly is going on and how it is I have to say at the beginning it was not like this just on Saturday I went to the supermarket and I was able to buy my things like I went with my family and it was normal but now you have to go this law that came out recently for the lockdown also states that you can't go out like with your whole family to go um, to go do grocery shopping at least it has to be one person to a family so in fact in the queue that I was in there was only one person with one um, um, trolley if I should say that way yeah one person with one cart shopping cart or something like that so yeah it's supposed to be one person at a time but I I may go outside and if I go I will film because I want to see what's going on downtown as well just check it out I'm home as you know um, I've been I've been decluttering stuff like my things and my emails oh my gosh I've, I got the chance to like look through my emails because I had like in every email I had about I don't know a lot a lot like thousands of emails and the thing is you can't just delete everything at the same time you have to go through one by one so that was a big challenge for me but thankfully I'm on it I'm almost done with all my emails like decluttering everything I've I've, I've deleted about 30,000 emails and I'm so happy I'm so happy with that I also have some more filing to do I just want to maximize this time you know take advantage of the whole situation and do things because there's no need because I'm sure once we all go back to our daily our normal routines everything has to just speed up you can't waste any more time I also have some researching to do for school and things like that so all in all I'm just gonna take advantage of the whole situation okay guys see you very soon I'm gonna come back with more information bye um, for lunch we need Right, yeah. So that's what we're gonna have. Crispy. I'm gonna show you now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm eating my yam now. And I'm gonna be watching my all time favorite movie on Netflix. Daytime. Hey good morning. So, another day. <laughs> I'm trying to do bit and pieces and then I'll just join the map for the vlog. So it's another day. I'm just doing a little bit of exercise this morning and then um went to probably go to the post office. I'm not sure yet though because I really wanted to go with a car. That way I don't have to pick the bus and all that. But we'll see. Um what else do I have to do? So cleaning things like that. A little bit of exercise, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit. I'm still, thankfully, I was able to finish with the whole email thing. So, yeah, I feel really free in that sense, and that's it feels good. This is a turmeric mask again, and it's really good because if you saw my, if you will see that in the first um, clip of this vlog, I have a very bad pimple and some black spots. So, this is really helping, I think. So, yeah, that's why I do it. It's turmeric, honey, and some some apple cider or something. So guys, this is one of the things I love to do. If you know me, you know I love my candles. Ouch. This smells so good. So yeah. 
Hi guys, so I'm home. I didn't go to the post office after all. I think I'm gonna go on Monday. And yeah, so I've just after I finished the whole exercise and all that I what did I do? I did a bit of work um with the, with the PC. I I still have a lot of research to do for school. So I'm using this time to do all that as I said before. And I've been chilling. I also I think did I watch a movie? No, I think I watched a certain video on YouTube, someone sharing her experience or something. So I watched that as well. And now I'm here. But I've also been seeing um I've been following a lot of um coronavirus updates on YouTube. So um new uh, measures are being drafted and all that. I've also seen videos of um, my friends um in the UK, some in the US as well, posting video uh, videos of going to the supermarkets and finding nothing there fortunately that's not my case um, I went to the supermarket yesterday and there was there was enough things there were no empty shelves at all and there was a queue so it means that I don't know maybe they are stocking um, regularly or something but I think everybody's also doing moderate grocery shopping so Number one, in the first place, um, with the lockdown and the measures and regulations that came out, we are only one person is allowed to come out and shop for the family. So you can't have like a group of three. And I thought, I think I said that before. Therefore, everybody's whole, everybody has, or everybody comes out to the supermarket with one um, cart and not more than that. So yeah, I don't really know how that is in the UK I don't understand how that is going on but I think it's because everybody's scared and they tend to say okay let me stock up the pantry pantry let me get like I don't know what they buy but then it's normal I guess but at the same time I think everyone has to be um, what would I say everyone has to be accommodating and, and, and be conscious I mean you can't buy everything in the store think of others as well you can be it's a bit selfish I would say but um, on the other hand I understand because well everybody's scared but there's no need to be I think everybody has to just be has to first chill because when you chill you can think <laughs> when you chill you can think yeah I think you just have to get the most important things you know you'll be needing like in an African home we need a, a bag of rice you know and those few things but it depends it depends but I hope things get better anyway I just saw that video and I thought I'd come here and say that like it's amazing it was really funny though but I'm sure by next week they would get um, they would understand how to run everything in the supermarkets as well because I'm sure they weren't expecting something like this so let's see how it goes today's Saturday so let's see how it goes um, this vlog is going to be a bit all over the place because I didn't do everyday sort the everyday sort of vlog. It's just a general overview of my 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 days at home basically. Yeah, so okay. See you again soon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so I just came to the ATM and basically you can't have two people here at the same time but it's fine I guess I'm wearing these because you, you still have to touch and all so I mean this is quite difficult but yeah I'm here hopefully I'll just finish right now and then leave it's not easy because <laughs> then you touch your bag then you touch your something you always touch something your purse and all that but
no one. And this is like a major street, eh? <laughs> Amazing. So I said I just went to the ATM and I'm going back now. I only have the small for the fan. office and I just wanted to look as well a little bit at least streets are quiet as usual I'm wearing these because I'll be touching things for sure and yeah hope you're good that's the post office and let's see if it's open Okay. So we come in, he decided to rush in. Okay. Posso? Yeah, and there are not a lot of people, so that's very good. The place is quite empty, and they make you stand um, a bit further from there, from their desk, which is good. Hi, so I'm done. I'm glad it's out of my way now. This place is really quiet. I'm going back home. The lady at the counter, she was standing so far away. She doesn't know that I'm also scared of her. What if she has it? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. We can't live in fear, can we? Things have to be done. Um, so I'm walking back now. That was good. There are a few people in town, not too many. But this is a smaller town, so this is just a little part of Kumu, where I'm at now. See you. Or rather, I think I'll close the vlog here. Um, I guess I've shown, you know, what my life in quarantine is like generally. Oh Lord. So I'll just close the vlog here. Take care of yourself. Be safe sanitize your hands wash your hands regularly and yeah i'm sure everybody will be fine love you take care bye